Buenos dias. I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 99. First one, a feature request since 2014. Hmm, how many years has that been already? Well, anyway, you can finally throttle the WebSocket request now. Previously, you could only throttle HTTP requests. Open the network panel and filter it to show just the WebSocket request. Next, I will throttle the speed to slow 3G. Now, try to initiate a new connection and you will notice the delay. Next, open the request and observe the message transfers. Let's set the network to offline now and try to send a message. You can see the message is sent, but it's not yet received on the other end. Reset the network connection to no throttling and the message is now received. Next, use the new reporting API pane to monitor the reports generated on your page and their status. The reporting API is designed to help you monitor security violations of your page, deprecated API calls, and more. Go to web.dev slash reporting dash API to find out more about it. Open the page with the reporting API configured. In the application panel, scroll down to the background services section and select the reporting API pane. The report section shows a list of reports generated on the page and their status. Click on it to view the report's details. The endpoint section gives you an overview of all the endpoints configured in the reporting endpoints header. Next, a top requested feature for a more successful user flow replay. The recorder panel will now wait until the element is visible or clickable in the viewport before replaying the step. Previously, the replay would fail immediately. For example, here is an off-screen menu positioned outside of the viewport and slide in when activated. The user flow is to toggle the menu and click on the menu item. Previously, the replay would fail at the last step because the menu item is still sliding in and not visible in the viewport yet. Well, not anymore. Next, you can now use the NC escape sequences to properly style your console messages. Previously, the console had very limited support for that and partially broken too. While the term NC escape sequences might sound alien to you, but you might have used or heard of some popular console styling libraries like Chalk.js, Color.js, and others. It's common for Node.js developers to colorize the log messages using this library, which use NC escape sequences under the hood. Well, nothing stops you to style it yourself without using any libraries, but the syntax is a little bit complicated. For example, let's style the words Hello Jane with this console command. Press Enter and you will see the words hello is underlined with yellow color and a red background, while the word Jane has no styles. Take a look at the command. It starts with an escape sequence followed by code 41, which means red background color, code 93 to make the text yellow, and code 4 to underline it. The styling sequence ends with the letter M and followed by the text. That's where the hello styles came from. And to reset the style, we start with the escape sequence again, then immediately end it with the letter M. That's why the text Jane has no styles. To learn more on how to format and style your console message, go to goo.girl slash devtools dash console dash format. Next, good news for the Chrome extension developers. You can now debug Chrome extensions with source map files. Previously, DevTools only supported inline source map for Chrome extension debugging. For example, here is my extension built with TypeScript, transpiled to JavaScript with a source map file. Open the Chrome extension, enable the developer mode, 
and load the extension. Open the service worker. You can see the messages are logged as expected and point to the TypeScript source file. Previously, users will receive warnings and the log only points to the JavaScript, making it hard for debugging Chrome extensions. Not anymore. Here is a bonus tip. Do you know you can style the console message with CSS? For example, when you open DevTools in a YouTube page, you will see a colorful YouTube is hiring banner. Now, before you go applying for YouTube, here is how to create a colorful banner like that. First, we define the CSS styles for the text. In the console command, use the percent %c format specifier to apply the style to our message. Press Enter, and ta-da! A colorful banner is created successfully. All right, there are more new features covered in my blog post. And as usual, the link is in my video description. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 100. Ciao.